Hey, what's up, guys? Hang on one second. Let's see. Does this take? Ah, there we go. Okay. We're going to take a look and see what's going on here. Give me one second. I'm going to get this set up and going. And we will look at these storms and see what's going on. Okay. All right. Hang on, hang on. Okay, guys. Let's take a look and see what's going on. I got the big bow here. Bow's tired. Bow's real tired. But he decided we had to do a little bit of work. So, let's take a look at these storms. Still have a severe thunderstorm watch. In effect, on southeastern Kansas, these storms have been... Kind of pushing in over the past couple of hours. So if you look outside, there's a lot of thunder. There's a lot of lightning across uh, the region as we are getting storms. Dude, where are you going? You want to get down? You want to get down? I don't know where he's going. But we've been watching still the severe thunderstorm watch, which is going on across southeastern Kansas. And then we'll kind of dive into where the storms are now and then what is going to happen as we go through the overnight hours of for us tonight. So let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Looking at uh, Farlington. Just lost power. Yeah, we, we do have some pretty good storms out there. All right, so let's dig in. We're not seeing many severe thunderstorm warnings, which is good. But you can see on the radar, this line is starting to drive into the region, uh, really from Nevada, Fort Scott, over toward uh, Iola and also Yates Center. Let's stop here and we'll zoom in. We'll see what's going on. Again, none of these are severe right now, which is good, but pretty good thunderstorms. So these are moving east. So we're looking across uh, parts of Bourbon County just to the west of Lamar. And you can see all the lightning in these storms. So pretty good electricity just to the north of Pittsburgh. And if you live in the Joplin metro and you look north, you're going to see the lightning from these storms. Let's go a little bit farther north. Nevada, these storms are going to start to work in. So we're looking at Fort Scott uh, over toward Nevada, up toward Butler, some strong storms. Again, these aren't severe, which is good. Um, pretty good storms drove through the southern side of the Kansas City metro. So Warrensburg over toward Clinton. So Clinton over toward uh, Truman Lake. Those storms are going to start to work in. But again, we're not seeing anything severe. These are kind of right at severe just below so Pleasanton, Mound City, showers, thunderstorms. Hey, Bo, come in here, Bowie. Bye, Bo. So these extend farther west, so Garnett, and then just north of Biola. And then Burlington down to Lake Yates Center. It's getting kind of loud. And then these stretch a little bit farther west toward Eureka, where we are seeing these storms. As we continue farther west, these kind of work south. Of Wichita, so over toward Winfield. Um, Bowie, come here. So these stretch just to the south of Wichita, and then everybody north of this, it's just good old showers and thunderstorms. So we're not seeing much severe weather, but we do still have a severe threat, at least a low end threat across southeastern Kansas. I'm not really that concerned. I, I kind of think these are going to continue to weaken a little bit as they continue to work in. They mainly slide north of Interstate 44. They will get south of Interstate 44, but uh, what is that air that just popped up? Huh. I need to clean my computer up. And then these showers and thunderstorms, they'll be out of here by the morning. So kind of to recap what's going on, yeah, we're all going to get storms, at least areas north of I-44. South of I-44, they're going to be very scattered. 
Do we have a severe threat? Sure. What is the severe threat? Hail and wind. Is it very high? Not really. Uh, but something I'm going to keep my eyes on. So I'm not going anywhere for a while. Let me look, glance through a few comments here. Let's see. We have Deborah from Web City. We got Tinker from Lamar. We got David. Um, oh, let's see. David from Pittsburgh. Let's see what else we got here. Um, Ty said, South of Wichita looked kind of intense. Yeah, thankfully, those are weekend. There was a warning just south of Wichita, and it, it just finished. Um, busy Mom, 4KC, poor Bowie. Yeah, Bo Bowie is a freaking Frenchie. And if you know anything about Frenchies, they have a massive attitude. So when Bowie gets mad at me, he screams and he yells and he yells loud. And it's uh, pretty intense because he's got the worst life ever. You know, he's a dog. Um, let's see here. Uh, da -da. Sugar Cookie. Man, I love these names on YouTube. Do you think Springfield is safe to go to sleep? I think everybody's safe to go to sleep. I really do. Um, these are going to be some strong storms that work through. I'm not really concerned about it. So I just want to kind of jump on. Give a quick little update of what's going on. Let you guys know I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to continue to watch these. If we get any few warnings, we'll pop back on. If we don't have to worry about that, then we don't have to worry about it. But I'm going to watch it for a little bit. But I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what was going on. It's late night. It's late night Wednesday morning. Let's see. Jessica, how is increasing KOM's transmitter power going? Uh, pretty good. I think we're getting pretty close. So what's great about that is our TV signal will be picked up out of our viewing area. Uh, so that that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Becky, thanks, Doug and Bowie. Nothing in Columbus. Nope, nothing for probably a couple hours in Columbus. So that's kind of what's going on, guys. Uh, Heidi Hart, what is up? Um, so that's kind of what's going on right now. Again, strong storms. These are working in. Nothing really severe. If anything severe pops up, I'll let you guys know. But I also want to let you guys know that I am not concerned at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour a little beverage here and babysit the radar for a little bit. But if anything gets crazy, I'll let you guys know. All right, guys. Hope you're having a good night.